Today is the first day that small business owners could apply for new loans in round two of the Paycheck Protection Program for COVID-19 relief. It received an extra $310 billion from Congress last week. Now this program has new rules intended to prevent problems encountered in round one. Big companies claim loans of up to 20 million. That shut out thousands of smaller businesses. But as investigative reporter Dan Monk explains, the rule changes might not keep some borrowers from being left out again. Over the Rhine's No Theater has avoided laying off its eight full-time employees so far, but it needs a $58,000 paycheck protection loan to continue that streak. We are, at this point, reasonably confident. Andrew Hungerford is producing artistic director. He applied for the loan in March during the first round of the Paycheck Protection Program. Maybe 75 percent confident that will be that will be funded. But Hungerford were surprised to learn there is no rule preventing a round two borrower from finalizing a loan before he can. That's uh, deeply unfair to all of the organizations that have already gotten their paperwork in. Cincinnati Congressman Steve Shabbat tells the I-Team there is no rule granting a preference for the 700,000 borrowers whose loans were in process when the program ran out of money after just 14 days. If you happen to have a bank or a credit union that's lax and, and isn't doing a very good job and your, your application sitting on somebody's desk in the back room and somebody else goes to a, a you know, a bank that's more on the ball, well, the other person might get their loan before you. It's just really overwhelming. We first introduced you to Emily Wagner a couple of weeks ago. It should, in my opinion, go to the people who were shut down first, who don't have any income coming in. She owns Newport Fitness in Newport and laid off 16 part-time employees. She applied for a Paycheck Protection Loan April 6th and also didn't get funded in round one. When I saw that publicly traded companies um, that are otherwise successful and profitable and things like that were receiving money, it made me very angry. And Vision Children is also waiting. We have been approved and we're just waiting for the disbursement of funds. Executive Director Matt Hughes has furloughed three full-time employees and 23 part-timers from his small nonprofit tutoring program. He wants to bring a few employees back in May to do private tutoring sessions on a limited basis. I think we're gonna be, we're gonna be okay. Now, if the PPD doesn't roll through and other things sort of, you know, so fall apart, that could change. Back in OTR at the No Theater, Hungerford says the loan will make a huge difference for his nonprofit. If we get that PPP loan in, I feel pretty good about getting through the end of fiscal year, which is June 30. If we don't get that loan, I, I don't know. <laughs> Dan Monk, WCPO 9, I-Team. Also very confusing. Well, for more details about other rule changes in round two of the Paycheck Protection Program, check out Dan's digital story. It's on WCPO.com.